Welcome to the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce of Northern California Five Star Aloha Gala and Kulia Ika Nu'u Awards. We have another sellout crowd tonight, so let's get started with a big aloha. Aloha. When we heard that Nainoa was going to be honored this year, we wanted to pull out something special that we have done in the past. This particular only is in honor of Maui, not Maui the island, but Maui the ancestral navigator, who along with his clan of navigators populated the islands of the Pacific. So we'd like to do it even though he's not here, send him our aloha and also um, honoring our navigator history. <laughs> detractors of our ancestors who said oh, there was no way they would find their way across the Pacific without sextant and compass. They drifted there by the currents, not by any art or talent. Well, the Hawaiian Voyaging Society said this is not true. We were capable of finding our way over thousands of miles of this vast ocean and so the Voyaging Society decided to build a canoe called the Hokulea, Star of Gladness. But we didn't know how to sail. <laughs> they searched all through the Pacific. Finally, on a small island in the Micronesia, they came across a man called Mao. And he would be the guide to the first voyage to Tahiti in 1976 and on that ship was a young man slight of build not very tall quiet but very inquisitive his name was charles nainoa thompson and we know from our history that he proved that our ancestors were worthy people that they were capable people and they could sail guided by the stars, the currents, the wind, and whatever other thing, evidence nature would provide to find these islands. 
And I know I had some very interesting things to say about why he uh, believed in voyaging. Number one, so our children can be proud of who we are. When people come together around a common vision, they can accomplish great things. By example, we want to recreate a more civil society, a better world, a more healthy world for our children. When he was asked about the 2014 trip around the world, why did you go? We wanted to teach people Malama Honua, protect and care for your planets. It's the only place you have to live. This is a wonderful society. I've been a part of the um, Hawaiian Chamber for <laughs> many years, and I certainly was glad to be an honoree. But I think the, they have a vision, a vision where they believe in education, they believe in young people having the ability to create and do good things. And I met a young man, Vance, at this meeting, and I know that he is inspirational and has a great vision. And I believe that with this kind of vision and working together, all of us, we can make a better world for each and every one of us. Malama Honua. Woo! May you all be surrounded with love. Aloha no. Thank you, mahalo Bill.
And with that, I would like to bring up my uh, board of directors. So if uh, all the board members could come up so we can take a quick picture. We have uh, Vice President Shannon Honda, Treasurer. <laughs> talk for a bullet point or two in regard to kind of the selection process and why we decided to choose Nainoa uh, and the PBS as a whole, frankly. Um, so each year we get together in September for our uh, annual retreat over Noah bagels and some uh, co <laughs> and, and coffee and we talk through a bunch of things that, you know, what we're going to do for the year and the next couple of years and who we're going to select, right? And it, you know, it's really hard. We've had Dave Shoji, we've had Alan Wong, we've had these incredible people. We had Pika last year. And so we figured that we were down to really Barack Obama and Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, during, 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 it was very interesting because during this last year's talk, uh, you know, Eric, myself, Jackie, who's just done an incredible job as a president, and so many members of the board, we, we took some time to really think about what is the core of HCCNC? What are we doing here? Why are we spending our time? Why do we, each year we have 200 people come to this, right? Why is this important? There's so much going on, right? You don't need to come up here from Hawaii and you guys have a bunch of organizations that you can donate and, and, and sponsor and so forth. And what we kind of really solidified on is our goal is to bridge Hawaii and specifically that aloha spirit across the entire world. And, you know, having lived in a bunch of countries and having traveled throughout the world, there's no place that does it like home. No place. Woo! So, during, so, uh, okay, wrong bullet point, sorry. <laughs> so, when I know it came up, we knew that we had something really special, right? And, it, it, and trust me, it wasn't just because he was my neighbor for 15 years. Um, we, we, the, the mission and, and what, not just him and the Hokule have been doing, but what him and PVS are doing are really bridging the spirit and this culture across the entire world. And not only just these kind of traditional techniques, but a, a sense of purpose, a sense of uh, responsibility, a kuleana, a sense, a sense of uh, building the future that we deserve to live in. And that's why we thought it was so special. Um, and I'm actually going to skip that last bullet point and leave it there because I think that says more than enough. So thank you all for coming. Uh, I know, I think we'll hear from Nainoa very soon, but uh, uh, this means I think a lot to all of the board that you're here to, to kind of celebrate what they've done. And thank you, Randy and PBS. You guys are incredible. Um, no matter where you go in the world now, people actually have a firm sense of what Hawaii stands for and what the Aloha spirit stands for. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you, Michael. I'm out of my element here today because, for one thing, we have so many layers of clothing. And I spent 35 years on the beach with paddlers. And uh, when we ever have a chance meeting, one of the running jokes is we, we don't recognize anybody with all these layers of clothing. The good thing is, summer's, summer's around the corner and sprint season starts in a couple of weeks. So we'll see you guys all here. You guys look good. Um, what I wanted to talk about um, today is about visual cues. That was one visual cue, is uh, we don't see what we should see. And something interesting happened in 1995, at least for us here in California. Across this horizon here, um, Hukulia entered our Golden Gate for the very first time. It was clear who she was, though many of us on the water and beach have never personally have seen her before. But the, uh, the twin crab claw sails was telling. We might have not known what that meant, but she was different. For some of us here tonight, we were on the water that day with the Northern California fleet of outrigger canoes. 
Thousands more were on the beach waiting um, with joy and they were inspired. Hukale would sail down the west coast reaching thousands more who no longer lived in Hawaii but longed to share in the canoe's legacy. It was a homecoming a thousand years overdue. And in that same year, Pika was born to bring everybody uh, together. But one of the other keys, the keys besides the visual cues that I'm hearing is the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce is about connecting. And um, there was another fleet of canoes that came in in 2011, and they connected with uh, uh, the Outrigger Canoe Association and Pika and whatnot. From that day on, we were forever connected. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Jacqueline. And we've been trying to stay connected and, and move for, uh, further. So what is it about this visual cue, the double hull canoe with crab claw sails that stirs something hidden within us? The young Nainoa probably was wondering the same. Having graduated from Punahou School, learning, looking to keep busy and buy time, he took up outrigger canoe paddling with Hui Nalu. We, <laughs> we have a Hei Nalu on the other side over here, but this is Hui Nalu, not Hei Nalu. Uh, then one day, 1974, his very first year in paddling, it took us 35 years to see something like this, but he saw something on the water, and a young, a young Nainoa was forever hooked. The following year, 1975, Hokulea was completed, and Nainoa went on to learn more about his culture, his people, and how they did it. Um, Nainoa learned wayfinding from Papa Maupiailo, if you don't know it, wayfinding is based on dead reckoning. It is about knowing where you've been to know where you're going. It's a little bit hard to understand, because when you go, you go. You go forward. The ancients were great voyagers because they knew their way back and shared that knowledge with many others. And with that knowledge, many voyaged to new islands and populated all of Polynesia because they knew how to get back home. The underlying metaphor here is that wayfinding is more than a navigational tool, it's about how we impart and share wisdom. We need to know who we are before we can venture forth and voyage, because without knowing, what will we pass along? We have long assumed that memories and learned experiences are passed on by teaching later generations. Prior to Hokulea, it had been centuries before anyone had seen a double hull voyaging canoe. They had been lost to time. There was no ancestral knowledge being passed on. But when thousands and thousands see a voyaging canoe for the first time, there's something deep in their memories that is stirred. Could this be our memories passed down through our dreams? Or is it even inherited biologically? Ben Finney, Herb Kane, Tommy Holmes have given us back these dreams of our ancestors. It was these three that built the precursor to Hokulea that the young Nainoa saw when he was on the water paddling that first year. It reawakened those recessed memories within him. And I know on PBS would go on to inspire and teach what was almost lost to oblivion. They have given our young the courage to voyage beyond the boundaries and embrace our ancestors. They have built Hokulea, a canoe that is the visual cue which we all connect inhabitants to our island earth and share each other's wisdom. We are most grateful for these efforts and is the reason why we honor him tonight and PBS. So at this moment, I was fortunate to meet uh, Randy Fong, and I wish I could talk story and story because he was connecting, connecting, <laughs> he was connecting me back to some of the voyagers that I went and um, um, sailed 2,000 nautical miles with. And I'm glad to see that these young voyagers are continuing and learning um, in Hawaii through Nainoa to bring it back to their own island nations. So with that, Randy, would you mind coming up and saying a few words on behalf of Nainoa? Dr. Randy Fong. Ei Hawaii he moku he kanaka he kanaka Hawaii e he kamanata hiti he poli i mai kapa ahu mai mo aula nui a ki a kanaloa aloha mai kako a paoloa. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share a few words on behalf of Nainoa. It is my great honor this evening to humbly receive the special award, Kulia Ikanu'u, on behalf of Mr. Nainoa Thompson. 
president of the Polynesian Voyaging Society. I'm joined this evening by my wife, Jamie. Together, we have served as cultural advisors for the Hokulea since 1985. Though disappointed that he could not be here in person, he appreciates your understanding and is devoting all of his energy at the moment towards recovery. We are pleased to share that Nainoa is on the mend. He wishes to express his gratitude to President Jackie Funasaki, the Chamber of Commerce Board and event organizers, and of course the community for your work and dedication. And especially to Jackie for nurturing this wonderful friendship between PBS, Polynesian Voyaging Society, and the Chamber of Commerce, which we hope will grow and strengthen in the years to come. In closing, Nainoa reminds us that when the Hokulea first sailed over 40 years ago, she represented Hawaiian competence, achievement, and pride. Today, she is all of those things, but she is also a messenger, calling attention to the serious state of the environment, the plight of our oceans, and the urgency of human action towards planetary wholeness and a sustainable island earth for our keiki for generations to come. Again, Nainoa thanks you for this special honor. And let's, uh, let's hear a few words from Nainoa at this time. Aloha, aloha my kako. Uh, my name is uh, Nainoa Thompson and I thank you for uh, allowing me to be a tiny part of the evening. This year we had a particularly strong batch of candidates. We awarded three scholarships this year, and one of the awardees is here tonight, while the other two are back in Hawaii and have sent videos to share. So our first scholarship recipient is Vance Ferrant. <laughs> Vance is a 2017 graduate of Kamehameha Schools, who is now attending Stanford as an Earth Systems major. He plans to return to Hawaii after college to tackle some of the environmental issues Hawaii is facing. And he's also currently working on a Hawaiian language novel. So here's Vance to say a few words. Mahalo. Well, mahalo. Yeah, HCC and C, Nokia, Makana, Nokiko, Nui. Yeah. Aloha no kaku. How old in Nui Valley, Kiki Humayana. Thank you all for, for allowing me to be here. Thanks to HCCNC for, for the scholarship and the opportunity to come here at the end of the year um, when I'm missing home the most. <laughs> and I'm really excited to go back in two weeks. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm so honored. I, one theme that, that has been coming um, into my life more recently is the idea of huli na lima ilalo, to turn the hands downward and, and to serve the aina, to serve the land, serve others. And one thing that I've made it my goal to do in college is to, to serve while in college, not just afterwards. And so this summer, hopefully, I, well, I will be uh, working on a Hawaiian language writing project that We'll hopefully combine combine some traditional knowledge with contemporary ideas and, and knowledge and hopefully that'll contribute to some of the communities that have given me so much and I hope that that's the way that I can I can start giving back to Hawaii while I'm, while I'm still in college but um, thanks to Pika for helping to fund that project as well um, I'm really I've, along with Pika and other other individuals I'm, I'm so blessed to have so much support for this project and other projects. Um, with Uncle Nainoa, I'm so so elated that he's being honored tonight, and um, you all got to hear a little about fr from him directly, Uncle Randy, Jamie. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm so glad that the jokes came after that because I was I was getting really <laughs> emotional <laughs> there because I remember from elementary school meeting Uncle Nainoa, and he's you can't really, you, you will always underestimate or um, never speak enough about how amazing he is and, and so many others and PBS in general and Hokulea um, really being an amazing um, model and, and um, shining star for, for everybody from Hawaii and around, around the world. And um, 
I know that when I, I was like beginning high school and Hoku Le'el left on that worldwide voyage. And as I learned more and more about voyaging and wayfinding, you really continue to underestimate how spectacular and mind-blowing it is to voyage in the open sea without modern instrumentation. It just continues to blow my mind. And the, what, what Hokula and Hokula coming back from that worldwide voyage right after graduation was um, so amazing to almost have been on that journey with Hokula. And so that was really um, amazing to me. And it really, Hokula to me, um, helped to validate what I was learning about and get so passionate about um, with Hawaiian culture, Hawaiian language, um, showing someone, Hokulea, Nainoa, others, showing that um, it really does matter and it's so important to, to preserve traditional Hawaiian knowledge, to preserve Hawaii and her people and the Malama Honua and the whole world to take care of where you are. And so I'm so honored to be here, so happy, um, so thankful to all of you for helping with this. I'm Mahalo.